Hello viewers, I'm SB, and this is Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. This is a game that is, um, it's sort of a spiritual successor to Freelancer or Privateer. Uh, if you don't know what that means, it's sort of an arcadey space game. Uh, you have a lot of freedom, it's a little bit open world, but not very simulationist. Um, definitely follows in the vein of like the old X-Wing and TIE Fighter games. I have been super excited about this coming out for a long time. I loved the first Rebel Galaxy. Uh, so let's just swing right in here. I've played just enough of this to kind of get a sense of the controls. I think we're going to try playing it on Veteran. I know it says all assists there. Uh, trust me, <laughs> it's, it's tough to play without the flight and aim assistance. Uh, the developers are very clear on the website that they, they built this game with a gamepad in mind, and we're going to bumble through it on, with mouse and keyboard because uh, I don't have a gamepad right now. So, we might need a little bit of a boost. We might be able to turn off some of the assists if it turns out things get too easy for us. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. So hopefully that helps to set some narrative expectations. I saw it described online as a Han Solo simulator, and I think that's pretty much the direction of it. Oh no. I wasn't sure I'd ever hear from you again after your transition to domesticity. Domestic life is on hold for a while. My husband is... Brace is dead, and I'm in the shit. His passing wasn't accidental. No, it wasn't. I tracked a guy who did it here to Lubbock. But the upshot is that I'm a little rusty these days. I'm stuck on this rock until I can scrape together the cash for another ride. You know I don't like to ask for a handout, and I know it's been a long time, but... Say no more, Juno. I used to have a small waste transport operation in Texas. In Space Texas. Ships. No jump drives. There might be one or two still in storage. Right now I'll take anything I can get. As long as my mother's not involved. Aha! There's an old Pathfinder still in mothballs on Lubbock. A platypus? 
Well, I did just say I'd take anything. What'll I owe you? There's a package I'm anxious to have delivered. If you could see your way clear to bringing it to me in Nevada, we could consider ourselves square. I can do that. So, this package, do I need to watch my back? I like to keep a low profile, but there's no entanglement with the law. You'll need to pick up the package on Nacogdoches. Do I have a contact? Richter. Richter Brust. I'm gonna lose my lead on my target. You think you could ask around for me? His name is Ruth, but I guess he also goes by Ruthless. Big guy, lots of rings strung around his neck, dresses pretty fancy. I'll see what I can do. I'll let you know what I found when you show up in Nevada. Thanks, Orzu. See you soon. God, this thing didn't just haul trash. It is trash. <sighs> Better get to it. It really does just look like a dumpster with a rocket strapped to the back of it. I gotta say, even so, it makes me a little nervous that this package delivery is enough to pay for a whole, uh, a whole spaceship. Even a really bad spaceship. Gotta imagine there's a little bit more to me, uh, more than meets the eye to this job. So, we're gonna be spending a lot of time in stations, a lot like this one, I think. We jump over to the equipment bay here, we can have a look at our terrible, terrible ship. Uh, we have a single weapon, a utility laser. Uh, it has a low enough power draw that we can fire it infinitely without taxing the ship's engine, which is probably a bad thing, rather, <laughs> rather than a good thing. Doesn't speak very highly to its capability. Uh, we have 4,000 credits right now. I don't have a good enough sense of the game economy to know whether, you know, exactly what this means, but it seems like a low number. We could buy ourselves a better laser. Should we do that? Should we just jump right out to that? Uh, our current laser has a DPS of 20. An energy use of 1.5 gigajoules, and we're generating 22 per second. It sure seems like we could maybe step it up a little bit. Alright, hold on. What if we go to this... Let's just go ahead and install an extra laser right away. Again, I just have a I have a bad feeling. I'm not I'm not hinting at anything here. I haven't actually done this job yet. It just seems too uh, seems too easy. Makes me nervous. Okay, two lasers. Uh, in terms of defenses, I can't imagine we are now going to. Oh yeah, wow, shield generators are really expensive. <laughs> okay, maybe let's uh, stop messing around with the ship. Well, now hold on. Can we do anything cool to it like? Better radar is even more expensive. A better cargo hold, a tractor beam. I, we're going to have to come back for all this stuff, right? Yeah. All right, maybe let's just uh, let's just fly around. How, how expensive is it to get some flare? Okay, this stuff's nice and cheap. Boy, these are... Uh, you know what? That's pretty. It looks like Bespin. Sure, I'll pay 200 credits for a, uh, a postcard of Bespin. Uh, yes, please install it. This this right here is the installation medium. Alright, so what we've learned is that 200, uh, 200 credits is roughly equivalent to 45 cents in the real world. Uh, well, maybe we should try to pick up some other jobs then, while we're here. Just feels like we maybe need to do some stuff to get paid. Texas authorities request aid in eliminating pirates operating near Austin. Well, we did just buy that big old laser. Uh, sure. I'll take it. We've accepted a Commonwealth mission. Co uh, completing this mission will build report with the Commonwealth and police, but will be despised by the Red Devil Pirates. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I see myself a little bit more as a space pirate than a space cop, but the job looks easy. And I think at this point, that's what we need, is easy. Uh, simple cargo run. I mean, I don't know that I necessarily want to take a bunch of missions that are going to require us to fly places. You know, we sort of have a thing to do. Let's just get out there and, and fly around a little bit and blow stuff up. We can visit the bar. They have some games. Apparently, the pool simulation in the game is actually really good. Uh, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll figure some stuff out. Let's just uh, head to the landing pad and get our space legs under us, shall we? Yeah, it really is just a flying box. But a flying box with two lasers on it should be enough for what we need it for. Alright, now we get to figure out how to actually... Let me... 
Hold on a second. Here. Yellow, mis uh, yellow mission waypoints can be reached by engaging the autopilot. So we have a waypoint over in this direction. Is this... Okay, this is a little favorite. This is our actual story mission. Uh, is this... Here we go. Yes, here we go. This is the thing we want. So, 706... That's a very great distance. Fortunately, we have access to some not quite warp, but pretty fast sublight engines here. It's still going to take us quite a bit to fly over there. So I just wanted to show this off. Uh, the game lets you basically just jump straight to waypoints, and we'll probably be doing a fair amount of that. But uh, definitely part of the joy of the time that I had with the first Rebel Galaxy game was just languorous space journeys. You know, listen to, listen to some like twangy space guitar. You know, this is actually getting us there pretty fast. This isn't too bad. Alright, so all we have to do is blow up some pirates, not get blown up by some pirates. Probably I can handle it. I played an awful lot of hours of these sorts of space combat games once upon a time, but I guess it was quite a while ago. Alright. Well, this is where we were... Ah! Hey, that looks like a pirate right there. In fact... In fact, it says pirate when we hold the scope over him. I'm gonna try to limit the amount that I run into asteroids. It's a little tricky. Oh dear. I think that was uh, that was one of the traders who hired us that just got blown up. Objective complete. Oh, never, <laughs> never mind. They got it under control. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. I think we I think we just got paid. Pretty sure we just got paid. Hold on a second. Can we see? Yeah, thirty-five sixty. Okay, I'll take it. So this is what it looks like when we just skip a journey. Oh, we are initiating a contraband scan. Do not deviate from your flight path. Yeah, let's just hold steady for a second here. Contraband scan complete. Move along. Just a thing to keep in mind for later when we decide we're definitely going to run contraband. My autopilot. There we go. So this is what it looks like when we just skip a journey. I don't know. We'll find a we'll find a good mix of the two things. Because obviously, autopiloting along the way is faster, but you miss opportunities. Alright, here's a question. Oh, wait, pirates. Oh yeah, let's blow up some pirates. I don't know <laughs> I don't know who these guys are or what they're doing here, but I can't imagine the station wants them hovering around. Okay, notice that our, our shields are already down, so that's bad. Shields on this thing are very, very light. Cool. We did it. We blew up a pirate. How do I? Uh, oof. Damn it! Well, I was trying to stop and recover. Like just about does it. Wait, wait, wait. Data cubes. How do I? How I data cube? Also, I don't even see them. Oh no, tractor. Right, right. Of course. If you want to loot the uh, the ships in space, you're going to need a tractor beam. Well, I guess we'll uh, we'll have to make one of those a high priority. Maybe I underestimated our lasers, though. They seem pretty effective, actually. Okay, so I didn't actually try to dock with a station before. I was just flying around shooting at pirates. How does one... Automatic landing sequence initiated. Oh, okay. Fair enough. A gaggle of shitheads. Oh, docking prohibited on account of all these hostiles. Probably they're mad about me blowing up that guy. Well, this ought to be... Hopefully, just as easy. Of course not. You know, he's not really near, and he's flying away. Hold on, maybe if we just turn around and, and try to reinitiate docking here. Remember, it's a sure shot. It sure didn't look like we were uh, we were beset by any hostiles. All right, just get close, and then it does the thing for you. We're getting real close, actually. Now, see, we're still getting uh, in the upper right there. Notification that hostiles are too near. Well, I probably. It turns out I probably did have to kill that pirate. I'm trying to look. I don't see an indication of where the hostiles are on our uh, like on our mini map. What is this? This is probably just blinkers to help guide people into the docking. I guess it is these guys all the way out here. I mean they're pretty far away according to the uh, the thing in the lower right, but spaceships move pretty fast, I suppose. It's a lot of distance, not necessarily a lot of time. This is the fastest we can fly toward them, though. Yeah, okay, here we go. 
he's coming to us a little bit. It's very helpful. So right now, all I'm actually doing is just holding right click, and the ship is the ship is trying its best to keep pace with him and keep him in the center of the screen. At some point, we're gonna have to learn how to do this ourselves. For right now, I'm mostly just uh, worried about trying to survive combat. All right, that's good enough. We're also getting a fair, uh, a pretty generous aim assist. Oh, wait, wait. Veer out of the thing. Don't hit the wreckage. Look, see, I'm learning. I'm getting there. That's just what it's going to be like. I'm going to have to crash into each type of thing in the uh, in the galaxy once. Let's throttle back up here. Hopefully, that'll be good enough to let... Uh, to get docking control to actually let us inside. I doubt we will receive the payment that we obviously should for all of this public service work we've been doing. Also, I'm already really enjoying the music. There's actually like a, a number of different radio, like space radio stations. We'll uh, we'll do a little bit of audio exploration eventually. Dodge sector traffic control. Your request is granted. Please proceed to the designated bay. Okay, and I, I think I was actually pointed at the, the bay that time. I really appreciate that it doesn't make you, uh, it doesn't make you have to try to land it yourself. Alright, so we are here to pick up a package. 50 credit docking fee collected. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, pick up a package. Jeez, I don't know. What do you think? I guess let's check the bar. Oh, there's our friend Richter. Richter? A friend of mine told me I'd find you here. You Juno? Wow. You told me you'd be coming around. That dude Joe is as space trucker as anyone has ever more. been. Yeah. Recent experience. So much for my reputation preceding me. Well, here's the thing. That package, I don't exactly have it with me. Are you shitting me with this? See, the thing is, the package is a little bigger than a bread box, and it's on a brust arms convoy that you're gonna have to liberate it from. This package delivery suddenly turned into a hijacking job? Orzu gave me a damn garbage truck. I'm not sure this works out as an equitable arrangement. Don't hang this on me. Now, if we do it right, won't even have to be any hijacking, because as a member of the Brust family, I can access the repeater codes that track the shipment. Hang on. If these are brush codes, then we're stealing something from your own family business? This doesn't make any sense. It's not stealing if it's my business. My brother and I just have a uh, difference of opinion about this, and I want to avoid a nasty argument. Yep, Sandy there it likes is. likes to lord it over me that he was born first, and la di da he's the CEO. But we both know that when it comes to getting things done, it's old Richter who pulls a sled. I can already tell this is a terrible idea. But I got my own problems that need solving, so let's just get it over with. What do we have to do? First order of business is to get those codes. I thought you just said you had them. I said I could access them. They change on a fixed schedule every second solar day. So what we gotta do is head to the signal repeater and get them from the source. Speaking of which, did you say you were flying a garbage truck? I hope you got afterburners on that thing. That's sort of a prerequisite for a slick little operation like this. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll be back. Okay, acquire an afterburner. A little bit, a little bit of extended tutorial time. Here's how you buy stuff for your ship. Uh, so, equipment bay. That's going to be a component. Oh, an afterburner is not too expensive. Provides quick acceleration when you most need it, which is always. Fortunately, that job we did puts us just above the price. Of course, wouldn't have been a problem in the first place if I didn't have to buy an extra gun, but something tells me we're going to need that extra gun as well. Alright, let's go back and see Richter. So, I don't know if the, I don't know if the, um, the angle brackets here indicate, like, this is what your quest node is. Alright, I'm squared away. Can we get on with this? Perfect. I've got a little software key I'll use to access a repeater while you watch my back. I broadcast the key, we get the codes, and then we'll have what we need to grab that package. Right. Little man, I know a bullshitter when I meet him, and this whole planet of yours stinks. 
But Orzu did me a solid, so we're gonna do it. If it goes bad, though, you know whose ass I'm gonna kick. Calm down, calm down. You'll see. It's gonna be smooth sailing. See, she's concerned that this job seems terrible because it might go sideways. I'm concerned that this job seems terrible because I think it indicates that Richter is not telling us everything. Okay, there's dice, slot machine, eight ball. I mean, let's let's have a quick chat with the bartender, I guess. Take a seat, friend. What's on your mind? What do you say? It's not she's answering a question with a question. Hey, buddy, do you have any advice for me? I'm about to get into something real stupid. You know what's up around here? Any advice for someone who's been away for a few years? Some of the jump gates around here are getting a little rickety. Best watch yourself if you're doing a bunch of inter-system jumps. A bad jump can tear you up pretty bad. Or worse, send you somewhere you weren't planning on going. Thanks. Turns out people aren't interested in investing in infra infrastructure in the space future either. Uh... Any idea what the market's doing these days? Yeah, I hear a little about the local market. This is what I know. Huh. Amarillo Mining Base is selling gold ore way lower than market. Okay, Amarillo Mining Base. I mean, Amarillo is the name of a city in Texas, so it's probably in the Texas part of space. Uh, I guess we'll just have to try to figure out where it is. We do have a map. We'll, uh, we'll check it out once we get back in the air. Uh, how about, let's ask him everything here. Anything particularly interesting happening these days? There was a rumor going around about something stashed out of the way. They did let slip the coordinates. Maybe worth a look? Appreciate it. Near Quadrant I-9 in the Mississippi system. That sounds like it could be pretty far from here. So, if a girl wanted to make some cash rounding up undesirables, would you know something about that? I heard a few tips on local bounties, but I might have to ask for some cash up front for that information. Let's hope that it's a very small amount of cash. Wow, that, okay. I mean, that's a small amount. It's just also almost everything we have, but sure. I'll bite. All right, then. I'll send the information to you. Thanks. Gotta spend money to make money. I'm looking for information on any freighters passing through here. You hear anything? When the truckers stop for a drink, I get a pretty good idea. For a little compensation, I can help you out. This dude is just bleeding us dry. Honestly, I'm just not interested right now. Maybe some other time. All right, then. <laughs> I mean, I know I asked, but I'm totally not interested. See you later. Come on Juno's, back by Juno's too embarrassed to tell this guy how broke she is. All right, well, I guess let's just get back in the air and make some money. Yeah, we should probably have a look at the mission board, too. Maybe there'll be something easy. Something easy and nearby. The first bank of Dodge is uh, seeking a pilot to investigate coordinates near the Akbaran belt. Uh, deal with any hostiles. Okay, it's in system. That doesn't seem too bad. We could certainly use the money. This having a skull near it, I imagine, you know, means the thing... Oh, no, it's going to give us 30 skulls. I, I was assuming that it meant that it was really hard, relative to our current capabilities. We need to convince Tsunami Azuma to join our protection racket. Oh, okay, maybe this means it's like a pirate job. Open a comm with one of their freighters, tell them to drop cargo. You don't need to kill anyone, just put some fear into their thinking. Well, maybe we should do some pirate work as well, you know, just sort of keep things in the middle of the, uh, the Vanguard Renegade bar. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Accepted a pirate mission. Completing this mission will build report with the Red Devils, but is seen as illegal by the Dodge Sector Police. With a significant report, you can dock at Red Devil stations, but Commonwealth stations will reject you. And then, probably, presumably, some stations, like the one we're on, I, uh, probably are neutral. Hold on, let's back up. There's definitely an info box. Yeah, affiliation, independent. Okay. That's interesting, so we're gonna have to manage that, maybe a little bit carefully. Anything else that's really easy available here? Lynch Enterprises is offering a contract to eliminate some mines around the Bucciantini junk field. We could probably shoot at mines from a safe distance. That sounds real doable. Uh, and there's another, another basically the same mission. Thrust arms, request a pilot to perform a routine patrol, investigate three designated coordinates, and report on hostile activity. I clicked on this one because it has the highest payout. Let's give it a shot. We're going to try a whole bunch of stuff here. 
All right, we're only allowed to hold four missions at a time. Now, let's get back in the sky and make some money. Oh, there's like a whole bunch of other stuff going on. You know what? I'll feel a lot better once we have more than 20 credits in our pocket. Also, we should probably be pretty careful with the ship, given that we definitely can't afford any kind of repairs right this second. Okay, let's have a look at... Uh, how do we... is it control? Uh, I don't think this is... oh, here we go. This will work. So, this is the sector. I mean, that patrol, uh, that patrol mission's right there. Let's do that. And then once we've set a waypoint... What is this? There we go. Once we've set a waypoint, we can just autopilot or sublight to it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just jump over there. Autopilot disengaged by distress signal. Oh, interesting. It may be risky to investigate. Proceed with caution. You know what? I would love to just get to our mission. Once again, maybe we'll investigate some distress sequence or some distress signals when we could afford to. Oh, hey, that person's being shot at. Right, I'm coming. I'm gonna help you. I'm also gonna try not to crash directly into you. Where? Oh, maybe they maybe they killed their attackers. We're definitely getting. Yeah, I guess everything's fine here. Hey, listen, they didn't tell me to stop any hostile activity. They told me to report on it. I can do that. We gotta get away from the rocks a little bit before they'll let me, uh, let me kick the autopilot back in. So when we go back, we'll just tell them, oh yeah, I saw some guys shooting well, at an innocent well, traitor. We got here. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we're taking a lot of fire in all of the shields. And the missiles are inbound. Oh, that would be the missile. No, never mind. That's my bounty. Missiles definitely do have a like a red outline around them, you know, so that you can see them because they're <laughs> very important not to get hit by. All right, get out. We have limited aim assist. It will. Oh, you're gonna be ashes. It will help us out as long as I'm kind of close to the crosshair. It seems like maybe it's only one enemy ship. Yeah, see, like that? That was a missile. It's okay, everything's fine. Uh, the forward shields are a little bit destroyed. Okay, maybe I underestimated our enemies a little bit here. Am I being shot at from behind? Unfortunately, I do not have a good, uh, a good sense for where the enemies are, and it doesn't seem like the, the map in the lower left shows them. I'm sure there's a way to do this that's better than just swinging around arbitrarily until you see them. Definitely still receiving fire. But see, like, we're taking we're taking damage on... Oh, he's behind us for sure. Taking damage on a lot of different, uh, a lot of different sides all at once. Which makes it a little tricky to tell which direction we're being shot from. Oh, he just... he totally just passed us. And unfortunately, this thing is just not fast enough for the oh, standard yeah. space game maneuver of, well, just fly away from a little bit and then turn around. Yeah. I keep seeing the, the red bit on the map and thinking, oh, that's him, but it's... Aha! There he is, there he is. I, I am trying to shoot the missile. Never mind. We'll just... Take it directly in the front of the ship. You don't need shields, right? Those are optional. Alright, the good news is, I think the mass of our ship scares them a little bit. Because every time we get into a situation... Oof, ow, I got hit pretty hard there by the exploding enemy. Every time we get into a situation where we're sort of uh, flying directly at them, they turn away from us before we have to turn away from them. Who would have thought pirates would be bad at chicken? Okay, I'm gonna turn the ship so that we don't take that in the front, given that our front shields were down for a second there. But unfortunately, that little maneuver has cost me vision of my target. There we are. 
we just gotta get a little bit closer. Yeah, watch. He's gonna bounce first. Ow. I think that's the last of them. Okay, well, that worked out eventually. We definitely did get hit by all three of those guys. <laughs> not not just weapons, but also their ships a little bit. It does seem like we're pretty uh, pretty resistant to being rammed at least. But our shields don't stand up to anything though. These pirates are uh, not much for actual piloting. There we go. Alright, I think we breached him. Yeah, these pilots, or the, these pirates can't drive their ships for crap, but they sure do have better combat systems than we do. Then again, I, I bet everything you can fly has better combat systems than we do. Oh, he is real fast. Okay, the shields on part of the ship are working sometimes. We can often at least absorb a, uh, a hit from a missile. Ooh. I think that one caught us with the shields down, though. I know we can adjust... Okay, this one, this one knows a couple of maneuvers. He's figuring it out. Alright, well... Got a little, uh, little bit of the tunnel vision there on that last one. The good news is, the game checkpoints frequently. We'll just uh, hit continue here, and I believe it'll load us up at the last time we left a uh, left a station. Oh, what is... What is that control? Oh, that's my afterburner. Right! I totally forgot we have an afterburner. That probably would have been really helpful in all that combat. Okay, I'll remember to use it this time. That mission seems, like, extremely doable. I know I didn't do a very good job of it, but it seems very doable. Alright, so forgive our growing pains here. We're figuring it out. I'm sure, you know, it'll be no more than 15 episodes before I've figured out how to not get just absolutely torn apart by every random pirate in the galaxy. Boy, they are just everywhere, huh? Okay. Uh, afterburners. Yeah, close the distance quickly. It seems like we are more than a match, uh, thanks to just the general largeness and heaviness of our ship. We are more than a match for any individual pirate. So the thing we gotta do... Yeah, the thing we gotta do here is just burn out as many of them as possible as quickly as possible. I'm gonna get you! thing that's going to kill us is having to fight multiples at a time, because, man, our ship really cannot sustain a lot of fire to the back and sides. You know, like what's happening right now. Oh, right, that's not... That's not the enemy, that's an objective. Okay, I think we're doing better already. I do wish that we had a thing that could maybe, like, corner a little bit more sharply. The problem with driving a dumpster around in space, I guess. Okay, he's right... No, he's right behind us, never mind. There we go. I guess the upshot here is that as long as they, uh... As long as they're determined to shoot at us... It's easy enough to figure out what direction they're, for, they're in. Okay. Patrol stop one, and we got through it without the ship getting even a little bit blown up. Oh, you know what? That's not combat. That mine. It's a. Uh, those are mining lasers. It's just lasering off uh, parts of the asteroids. Okay. We have to go actually like through the waypoint here for this area to count as. Oh, I think we're just good. Okay, let's try not to crash into this mining base here real quick. As soon as we've gotten past it a little bit. And engage the autopilot. There we go, we're getting the hang of side quests in space here. This 
game is pretty as hell. Oh, of course there's pirates. Always pirates. Maybe I should be a little bit more focused on the ones that are actually shooting at me. I'll say this, like I said, I, uh, I spend a little bit of time just messing around, basically flying around right outside that first station um, and getting into trouble. And the second laser really helps. The, uh, the one laser that they start you with is absolute garbage. Okay, was that really the only enemy? Hmm. Could have sworn that we were looking at one pi- Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that really, really dumped me right in there. Apparently we were not done with our patrol at this node. Or... No, it's- Okay. You know what I think is happening here? These are just waypoints. It drew all the waypoints for the mission uh, at the beginning, I guess. These are ones that we've already visited, though. We should try to stay on the yellow objective marker rather than paying attention to the white waypoints. Maybe. Destination reached. Okay, there totally was more than one pirate. It's just they, uh... They don't always seem to have much interest in engaging. That's weird. Oh, I wonder if the other pirate that we needed to kill for our mission, like, got killed by that Dodge Trooper. And when he died, that's what completed the mission for us. Well... Uh, in either case, it works. We're done. We got paid. Let's, uh, let's go do some of this other stuff. Yeah, quote-unquote low-risk cleanup. Sure, that'll be just as easy. I am definitely being shot at. Looks like we're in the clear. Yeah, jeez. That's the second laser is so helpful. Okay. Low risk cleanup. It would be nice to shoot at something that's not going to shoot back for a little while. Right, we maybe want to um, slow it down a little bit here, like all the way down. Okay. I'm just going to go on a limb here and assume that the red flashy bits are the mines. You know, I'm not exactly a space expert. Oh, jeez. It is not easy to adjust the ships facing small amounts. There we go. See, if I use the, uh, if I use the targeting computer to turn us toward the mines automatically, it sets us slightly off-center from them. I can kinda dial it in myself from there, but it's not exactly ideal. Am I actually going to be able to hit that? Is that behind the... Okay. Probably there's some valuable uh, recoverables here if we just had a tractor beam. That's alright, we'll get one soon. Ah, probably have to get a little bit closer. Alright, we're just going to ease the throttle up a little bit. It is a little bit hard to tell exactly how far the flashing lights are from us. That one's starting to come into pretty, uh, pretty solid resolution. Probably shouldn't get any closer to that. Oof. So basically, like, I'm sort of imitating having an analog stick here with my mouse. And it's, uh, it's definitely an awkward way to control. I believe them when they say that <laughs> the, the game controls best with a, with a gamepad. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get my hands on one. Unfortunately, the gamepad that I used to use is not easily available to me at the moment. How many more do we need? Ten Gs. Oh, I get why they had to pay somebody to come do this. Alright, we're going to have to ease forward a little bit here. And it sure looks like we should be hitting that. There we go. This is just riveting space content here.
honestly, I do appreciate, though, that, uh, that it doesn't just give you the shot. Even after you've used the targeting computer, you still have to aim it a little bit yourself. So my biggest concern with playing with the assists on with the, was that it was going to do too much of the work for us. Hmm. I don't actually see any more mines here. Oh wait, is that? No, that's just a. I think it's a piece of metal with some red paint on it there. Yeah. Hmm. Not getting any more obvious readings here. Maybe we need to. Oh, never mind. There's a couple. I was about to say maybe we need to uh, move to another area. Careful, careful. You know. I'm not actually sure what happens to the lasers as they continue out into space past our target. I'm just saying we're like, we're firing into the into the black an awful lot, and an awful lot of these shots are completely missing. I guess just good luck to anybody who happens to be on the other side of the minefield. <laughs> they do have a maximum effective range. Probably they, they dissipate over distance, maybe? I'm gonna choose to believe that's what's happening so that I can- Jesus Christ. Oh, we almost crashed into whatever that was. Here we go. There, easy. Oops, that's- Boy, I wonder how many times I'm gonna accidentally hit the afterburner when I'm trying to, uh... Trying to pull up the map. Seems like a really- dangerous thing to do in certain circumstances, like in the middle of a debris field, where you're not 100% sure that you've taken out all the mines. Alright, let's see about this one. Autopilot disengaged by distress signal. No, I think we're just gonna stick to the missions right now. I suppose maybe I should just go back to the station, cash in a little bit, and get Mission saved. Complete. Mission complete. Wait. Uh, what was... Hey, I don't remember what our actual mission was here. I was just kind of, like, clicking on waypoints. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. Got it done. Criminal intent. This is the pirate mission, right? Supposed to put the fear of God into, uh, into some freighter or something? I don't know, you know, we'll get over there and we'll uh, we'll just figure it out on the fly. That's probably a bad plan. Hold on a second. Uh, is there a... Notes? Heard a rumor something might be interested. Uh, yeah. Uh, cargo hold. Here we go. Mission log. <laughs> Boy, look at the fidelity of this monitor. Oh, criminal intents are main... Oh no, smooth sailing is our main mission. This is... Convince Tsunami Azuma to join our protection racket. Open a comm with one of their freighters and tell them to drop cargo. Don't kill anyone, just put some fear into their thinking. 2,600 credits, you know? Uh, like, relative to the amount of money that we're seeing from jobs, this is not a small amount. It would be nice to get this done. So, get near a freighter, and then open a comm channel with them. I'm not 100% clear on how this is done. Is that a... F no, that's space jump. Actually, I have no idea what that is. Right, well, where the hell is the freighter that's supposed to be around here? Okay, they got some mercenary ships nearby. You'd think it would be easy- ah! Okay, well that'll be the freighter. Uh, hey there. Maybe? Hard to say. Alright, let's just, uh, try contacting them. I think this is how this works. Robin Hood's out here. Mostly just hoods. Fine, just take the cargo. Let me live. Missile wow, that was easy. Oh, right. Like the odds here. Mission complete. Listen, the, mi the mission's complete. I don't need to stay and fight these guys. Let's just kick in the afterburners, right? Okay, you can see the power gauge down there, bottom left, uh, rapidly decreasing. We have a limited amount of afterburning we can do. All I really gotta do here is just get clear of the mercenaries they hired to prevent people from doing the thing that we just did. I gotta say, this is very embarrassing for those guys. This right, is just... the end of the road. 
listen, maybe we could uh, talk this out. We don't have to shoot our way out of this. All right, we'll back off one another this time. Oh wow! Damn, that was well, close. That, that was easy. I kind of can't believe he was willing to do that. Maybe they weren't having. Maybe they were having a hard time keeping up. He just figured that uh, wasn't worth chasing us. Okay. Uh, that being the case, let's go back to the station now. Sort of checkpoint our progress so that if things go wrong on the actual mission, we don't uh, we don't lose all this money. Autopilot disengaged by distress signal. Oh, I'm just extremely not interested in that distress signal. I'll tell you what. If we see another one after we get back to Nagadoshis, we can maybe play with it. Oh, that's a lot of... It's a lot of fire. That thing rips through our shields even faster than I feel like they've been, uh, they've been doing so far. In fact, we have basically no shields left. Come on. It's a little bit more complicated than it looks. Only a little bit. I mean, that was definitely a tougher ship than some of the ones we've been fighting. Okay, are there any... where are the other ones? Behind us, of course. Where else would they be? Let's try to whirl on them. I don't actually know if we can... Oh wait, I saw him for a second there. Oh, I had him on the scope and I lost him. Okay, they're far enough away that they aren't interrupting our autopilot. I'm just going to take that opportunity and bail. In some of these games, you can divert power to specific parts of your shielding. So like you can, when you're when you're playing chicken, you can just run all the power to the front shields. I don't know, I don't know if that's a thing we can do here. You can definitely mess with the power a little bit, and we'll we'll try it after we uh, once we head out for the actual main mission. We'll just play with that system a bit. But if we can divert power to the different parts of the shields, that's something I definitely need to learn to do, like, immediately. So we have 10,000 credits banked now. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I thought that button was going to take us into... Ah, oh, well, whatever. It's fine. We could have afforded a tractor beam, but we'll worry about it after the smooth sailing. Okay, so... Where is that waypoint? There we go. Uh, so I think, yeah, there we go. On the left side there, you can see our power meter, so we can divert extra power to the engines, the weapons, the shields. It's restored a balance with a single press, that's nice. But it looks like it's just shields up or shields down. I can't, uh, I can't specify within. Okay, that's fine. There's kind of a lot of controls in this cockpit here, so it's possible that there is a way to do it that I'm just missing. We'll, we'll figure it out. For now, let's just jump over to where Richter's expecting us to be. Destination reached. Okay. The repeater station. Do we just get close to it? You know, he was not super clear, actually, on what we do once we're here. Richter has an awful lot of firepower around this thing. Well, it is a brust arms outfit. I mean, weapons kind of are our thing. And these aren't gonna That's not comforting. Gonna start tearing the shit out of us when we get within a thousand meters. No, no, the software key will keep it from reading as a hack. It should be just fine. All right, I'm just gonna I'm throttle down here. I'm trusting him. Only take a minute. Something tells me I need to be ready with the afterburner button. Just a bad that feeling, you know. You said wouldn't happen. It's happening. Oh Jesus! I'm getting yep. lit up out here. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. You. That one. Shit. Xander must wow. have had him update the defensive software. That asshole. Your ship isn't on the white list. Hang on, I can fix this. It would be great if you would do that, like, immediately. Uh, let's try to put a big rock between us and them. Just dodge. Dodge him. Okay, yeah, just weave back and forth. Say. Listen, even if you can't dodge the shots, you can make it so they're not hitting the same part of your shield over and over again. Right, just pull Throttle down. This big rock between us and them. Oh, also craft. Great. Who the hell are these okay, guys? going fast again. Wrong button. Wrong button. Mercs. Just contractors. Xander keeps them on the payroll as muscle. Look, I've almost got the codes. Keep them distracted. Yo, Richter, up, what does keep them distracted mean? Am I allowed to kill these guys? Because I might have to kill these guys. 
Uh, for right now, we're just going to fly around and make ourselves a real loud distraction. I kind of sort of lost where the whole thing... Oh, Jesus. Okay. You're just going to be one more mark on the kill board. Right, just keep turning the ship. Uh, can I roll? I can kind of roll. Okay. That's not helping, it's just fun. I, I get distracted very easily. All right, okay. I got him. Let's get the hell out of here. We should yeah, I'm all about get the hell out of here. Back in all right, let's hope that those guys will uh, give up once we get a certain distance away from the relay. Jesus. Yeah, our shields go down when we, whenever we take a single hit from their weapons, it seems like. All right, just weave, just weave, maneuvers. You know, execute a talent roll. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm very concerned about the rear quarter of our ship. That shield keeps coming up for like a split second and then lose it. This might actually be a really good time to power to the engines. Okay. Yeah, no kidding. There we go, 881, that seems fast. Hopefully they're not quite as fast as that. Oh, the after shields are like down, down, I see. And our armor is uh, badly damaged? No, mildly damaged. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad. Kind of feels like we lost them. Oh, and see with the extra power to the engines, uh, the afterburner's not drawing enough to deplete, so we can just keep it on full time. That's good to know. Whew. Alright, I am going to slow down for just a second here. I mean, we're really fast. We're really fast with the power of the engines. Okay. And we haven't been shot at for like 20 whole seconds. I think we're cool. Primary mission? Ass kick. Autopilot to approach. Let me, um, just re <laughs> rebalance things here. Maybe we should head back to Nakodoches just to get our shields fixed. The rear shield is pretty important. I guess let's jump to this waypoint and see what happens. And uh, we can try to bounce very quickly if it looks bad. Okay, it's, this is Nakodoches. Great. Well, hopefully repairs aren't too expensive. I'm glad we did all that extra work, though. Maybe I should be aimed at... Granted. Okay. We're now entering an automatic landing zone. I was going to say, we're definitely flying just toward a flat wall of the station. Maybe not the best approach. It seems like you're not even allowed to dock manually, even if you wanted to, so no, no way to avoid the fee. Okay, we need to click Concourse if we want to actually go in. And then once you're in the Concourse, you can use this button to back up from places you go into. But while you're in the dock, this button is Go to Space Immediately. Right. Important to remember. You remember what I said was going to happen if things went bad? Now hang on, hang on. We got to agree on a definition of bad here. We got the codes, didn't we? I mean, in my book, that's a long way from bad. Until and I'm we are both technically us, alive. I think I'm going to reserve judgment. That's what I like to hear. Reason. The hard part is over. With these codes, that transfer is going to be easy. There's no slack in the rope. Now, for stage two, you're going to need a tractor system. I mean, I saw what you're flying. Is that going to be a problem? <sighs> I haven't had time to get one installed yet. Damn it. All right, I'll be back. I'll be around. Don't take too long, though. Richter, you are in no position to be giving orders to me right now. All right, let's, uh, let's go mess with the ship a little bit. So this is the first time we've needed repairs. Let's see how expensive that is. Oh, six credits. Yeah, absolutely. Repair all. Hold on. That was just the armor, though? Did we... Are my ship... Are my shields okay? Also, how expensive would it be... Uh, shield generator 1 is what we have now, so it's very expensive to upgrade. Okay. Well, is there anything else we can do? We can upgrade the hull. That's not too tough. Uh, we also could install ECMs. Spoof locked missiles into breaking off their approach, so it's like chaff. That's fine. I mean, we're mostly fighting people with lasers. Okay, let's not worry about it too much right now. Let's get ourselves a tractor beam. 
this will probably help us make money as well. Okay, with 2,500 credits left, I don't imagine there's too much else we're going to be able to do here. Power plant. Oh, we could upgrade the ship's power plant. I guess we don't really need it right this second. We're doing we're doing just fine on power pole most of the time. All right, I'm squared away, and I've got a tractor installed. Can we get on with this? All right, then. This should be smooth sailing. Look, it's obvious you and your brother have a thing going on between you, and now his back is gonna be up. What's to say he doesn't change the codes over? This is a big organization. My brother doesn't have time to mess with these sorts of minor inconveniences. He leaves that to the little people. And you don't think the little people would do the same thing? The repeater serves a whole shipping fleet, and there's subcontractors and subcontractors of subcontractors who this stuff is distributed to. You can't just flip a switch and restructure all your shipping communications. Trust me, we've got time. Fine. So let's just get it over with then. All right then. So, the shipment we need to sidetrack is going to be headed for Lubbock out of Austin. I'm going to mark an intercept point for you, and we'll meet up there. I'll broadcast the codes and make sure things go smooth. All you have to do is watch out for any trouble and take delivery of the cargo. It's going to be easy as pie. Yeah, yeah we'll I'm see. sure. All right, okay. I'll meet you out there. And you just remember whose ass is on the line. I'm glad to see that Juno and I are on the same page with this. We are, we are both sick and tired of Richter Brust. Alright, well, I guess let's get to it. We could take on some more missions, but... I think I'm invested in seeing this through at the moment. Plus, this will give us an opportunity to learn how to operate the tractor beam. Hopefully it'll be uh, real straightforward like everything else has been so far. Just get close to stuff and the computer can handle the rest. Another day, another dollar. Alright, where am I? Here we go. You know what? Let's fly over there the slow way. It's not really that far away, and it is awfully pretty. Yeah, look at that. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm enjoying the music. We can have a look at the other uh, the other radio stations. I guess we'll we'll mess with that stuff. You know what? Hold on. Let's check out this distress beacon. Where's where's that happening? We've been we've been mostly blowing these off. But let's see. Oh, we're picking up. Wow, that's a uh, that's a little ways out. Okay. I can't get these bastards off my ass. Some oh, jeez. Sure would be appreciated. Yep, working on it. All right, here we go. Oh, these are some heavier ships than the ones we've been fighting, and they seem to have an awful lot of uh, like a sort of a shotgun of missiles there. Sure could use your help. Yeah, I'm working on it, man. Oh, I uh, slowed down there because I was afraid he was gonna loop so tightly that we were gonna run into him. Okay, it's trying to match speeds, but honestly, I think it could it could stand to slow down a little bit more. I can only complain so much about the autopilot, right? I suppose if I wanted it done a specific way, I could just do it myself. Alright, we're getting through the shields on him, slowly but surely. We are definitely too close, though. Maybe the smart move here would be to just back off. Okay, we're doing actual structural damage. There's pieces of him flying off. He's turning on his afterburners, which actually is probably just bad for him at this point. But we are taking some very serious fire here, though. I guess one thing, one thing that is good about oh shit. Okay. <laughs> one one thing that is good about flying so close to him is that it's uh it's hard for them to get the missiles on us that way. Alright, there was at least one more. Where is he? Oh, behind us, perhaps? Shoot, where's that coming from? There he is. Okay, so it looks like it's two jackrabbits and another one of those missile ships. Shoot. 
good. The autopilot does not have a lot of respect for objects that might be between us and the target. Also, it doesn't mind flying me directly into the path of the freighter's chain gun. Alright, this guy's done for. I'm not too worried about the jackrabbits. Oh, let's see where those freighters go. Here we go. I mean, nothing seems to be shooting at him at the moment. But I'm sure we would have been, you know, properly thanked or something if the uh, threat was actually over. Oh, well, maybe they did kill the other pirates, though? Never mind. How could I be so naive? the button. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the afterburners. Thing is, the the frigate's separated by a little bit. Okay. Randall Vance. There's the other big one. Oh, shit. Come on. Well. <laughs> the autopilot is uh, <laughs> not uh, none too bright, it turns out. Right, I'm gonna uh, engage the afterburner a little bit. Put some distance between us and this thing. Looks like the shields are maybe suffering some serious damage. Alright, turn around. There we go. Want to get myself a little bit of distance. So have some time with this guy. I'm going to manually throttle down a little bit here. There we go. We can keep them at about this distance. That works pretty well. Ooh. Bad power draw. Uh, if we pull power from the shields a little bit... Maybe that's dangerous, but let's try it. Oops, that's all I want to do. Alright. Weapons up, shields down, engines about normal. Yeah, there we go. That's fixed our power draw. And this guy has, in an attempt to escape us, flown directly into the crossfire of the freighters. Ooh, okay. Still a jackrabbit around here somewhere. There he is. Uh, let's maybe rebalance all that. Okay, this guy is done for. Look at that, we're out here saving lives, being big damn heroes. Maybe <laughs> give the engine a second to recover. Yeah, that second laser. Second laser is a little bit heavy on the power. showed up at the right time. I can only give so much, but I hope this makes us square. Damn, I beat the shit. Bounty received. Wow, 4,500 credits. That was pretty impressive. I would say well worth our time. You know what? Maybe we can, uh, <laughs> maybe we can focus a little bit from here, though. All right, this is the spot. They ought to pass through here any minute. You just hang back while I broadcast the codes and work the old Richter charm, and then we can be on our way. Destination You'll forgive reached. me if I'm a little pessimistic. Craft inbound. Oh, wait a second. Watch the master work. Oh, okay. That's how we get ships drawn on our radar. Arms hauler T-78 en route to Lubbock. Please maintain a safe distance. Rattle down here. T-78, good to see you. This is Richter Brust. Looks like we have a misshipment included in your manifest, and I'm here to correct the error. Ah, uh, Mr. Brust. Uh, sir, is there any off code for this transfer? We don't have any record of it. Broadcasting now. The package identifier is, let's Ow. see, MKJ-47. Everything should be in order. Just bumping into space garbage over here. Uh, one moment while we verify that code. Do not like how they're coming about and how their engines are all lighting up. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. Mr. Brust, we've got a negative response on that off code. 
and an addendum that reads, under no circumstances are you to grant any requests made by Richter Brust. Why, that son of a... Is that for my damn brother? Listen, this is just a miscommunication. I've got the codes. They are definitely speeding up. I repeat, the auth code is denied. Mr. Brust, please give way and let us pass on by. Well, what now, genius? We're only gonna get one shot at this. Listen, I hate to say this, but you're gonna have to scare it out of him. Yeah, sure, that's doable. What? This is your party. You Jesus, do look it. at the size the of this thing. thing. I need is a bounty on my head. I don't have a rich big brother to buy it out. Look, I need the plausible deniability on my black box. This is my family company. I can't be firing on one of the freighters. You son of a bitch. I should have let Orzu keep his damn ship. Listen, T-78, I don't want to have to do this. I need you to eject that requested package and move along. I can't let you leave without it. Negative, unidentified craft. Be advised we are contacting combat support. Aggression against this vessel will be met with force. Well, ain't that always the way. That means mercenaries. You're gonna have to get a move on. Well, shit. T-78, I say again, eject that package. Neither of us wants this to go any further. And I, I am ready. Support inbound. Hostile Let's mix inbound. it up. Okay, combat support. Not inbound so much as already here. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, these things have... Shields on them that aren't too much more impressive than those jackrabbits. I think we can take a couple of these guys down. Probably important to remember this is murder. We are definitely committing murders now in Richter's name. Alright, let's just try to get a little distance here. I think we're again in a situation where it really behooves us to just lower the number of available guns as quickly as possible. Power's a real issue though. Awesome. Okay. I don't know how many of them there are. Uh, right, we can do a thing, right? We can scan area. <laughs> this is the end of the road, friend. It does feel a little bit like the end of the road. My shields are all flashing red just like a lot. Sorry, like, this this thing making the evasive maneuvers it's making is causing me to make similar evasive maneuvers just by following it, so it's kind of... It's doing an okay job of keeping them from being able to fire at the same portion of our ship over and over again. Yeah. Come on, just blow up. There we go. Let's get a little bit of distance. Oh, hey, that's a pilot right there. We probably could have rescued that guy. You know, listen, it's all business. There's no hard feelings here. I'm gonna do another scan. Oh, yeah, that's actually lovely, the way it actually draws them on our map. Just trying to get a little distance here. Okay. That's a friendly. Friendly. That's Richter. We probably, sh probably shouldn't blow up Richter. Right, hold on. Let's just get, let's get a little closer to Richter, though. He's probably where the mission area is sort of centered. There's this guy. Alright, come on, front armor, just hold. Seems like this might be the last one, based on the amount of fire we are no longer receiving. Hold your fire, okay. hold your fire, we will comply. I think we're clear. Come on now, scoop it up and let's get the hell out of here. Oh, wait, that's right there. Uh, where is my... Alright, hold on. Am I allowed to save the ejected pilot? I'm actually kind of curious. Because if we can, it seems like maybe we oughta. I don't want this whole arms company after me for multiple murders and... <sighs> you know. Oh, I might have I might have flown into him at a high speed. That might have been what just happened there. Okay, that's fine. You know what? It's fine. Okay. Uh scan. 
There we go. That's what I needed. So just blow up this container. Oh, actually, that's that's still <laughs> very far away. It's just huge. I think the effective range on our lasers is a little bit under 5k. There we go. We're hitting it now. Ooh. That was pretty. Sorry, does that say Robot Warriors? Okay, well I guess that's what we're picking up. Not 100% what I was trying to do there, I uh, over-accelerated. Okay. Am I supposed to press- oop, that's the wrong button. Am I supposed to destroy this too? It seems to not actually respond to lasers. Uh, oh, you know what? In the upper right corner there, it does say hold to tractor. Look at that. I done tractored it. Got it. What the hell's in this thing? Oh, you know, just robot warriors. We'll meet at the same spot. Until then, fly quiet like asshole. I mean, complete. Let's go ahead and tractor in these explosives as well. And let's just yes. not get contraband scanned. You can inject unwanted cargo from the hold sub-menu by pressing B. Okay. Uh, let's get a move on. Well, I feel like we've had a pretty successful day out here in the Texas sector. This seems like a bad time to stop for a distress beacon. These commercials are really something, huh? I will say the radio is a little bit quiet on, under the engine sounds. I'll see if I can mess with the mix a little bit for the next episode. But they really, uh, they pull you out of sublight pretty far away from the place you wanted to go. We'll mostly use the autopilot to, to skip the travel to places. Hard not to enjoy the atmosphere of space, though, right? So I wonder if this this was the package that uh, what's his face Oshu wanted, right? Docking clearance requested. Hmm. That time I had to call out to them. I wonder if that means anything. Like, if we're going to get arrested as soon as we set foot in the concourse. Oh, no. Everything's fine so far. Yeah, we definitely took a hit or two. Alright, what about this, uh, this stuff here? Commodities. We have some stuff that I'd love to not be carrying around with us. Could we sell this off? It is illegal to sell explosives at the Nakadoches mining community here. I guess we'll just have to carry it for the moment. We can always dump it if we get scanned. I was kind of hoping to offload it, though. All right, I know what you're gonna say, but all's well it ends well. Right, it's a real mystery that you aren't a CEO, Richter. A real mystery. That's what I've been saying. So that package has taken up room in my cargo hold. Where am I dropping this off? Orzu's casino is in the Nevada system. Just skedaddle on over there, kick it out the back, and it's out of your hair. I wish I could say it's been a pleasure. Oh, come on now. You love my roguish charm. I gotta say, you're good in a scrap, and I'm not a bad guy to know. I know you're trying to fix up that hunk of junk. Tell you what, if I hear of anything you might be interested in, I'll let you know. There could be some credits in it. Uh-huh. See you around, Victor. Oh, good. You've, <laughs> you've unlocked the buddy character. Who wouldn't want to be close personal friends with Richter Brust? 
All right. Well, I think we've had a uh, we've had a big day here. This is probably where we ought to call it for episode one. Uh, the intent with this series is there's going to be another hour or so of gameplay every weekday. So thank you all so much for watching, and come back next time tomorrow when we see about maybe upgrading to a uh, a ship that looks less like a dumpster. And we'll see you then.